This is the Toyota Land Cruiser 79 series single cab truck or Bucky as we call it here in SA. I don't know if it's just me but this truck has some design elements of the Toyota Stallion and the front end is giving off some venture vibes. Despite the old school look, there's more to this Bucky than what meets the eye. The extraordinary things that people do with the Land Cruiser are endless. Just have a look at what this Bucky is capable of. We don't deny that this truck is capable of all sorts of extraordinary things, but some people are just pushing it too far. You will find out the fate of this comrade later in this video. Let's see what else this Bucky offers. Welcome to another video. The front end of this bucky looks tough with a protrusive bulky bumper. Here we have some square shaped headlamps, a chrome grille and round fork lamps incorporated within the bulky bumper loop. It's amazing how Toyota managed to make this car look old school and modernish at the same time. From this angle, this Land Cruiser really looks like a venture. On the side, there's some color coded fender flares around the wheel arches which makes the side profile to look more aggressive. This van looks so tough, you would swear it's bulletproof. I just realized that my South Africanness is now coming out because I just called this Bucky a van. But who cares? Mokitswang teng ribitsa van this thing. So mahua, relax on. The rear end looks rather plain and underwhelming. The tail lamps look like they are aftermarket lights which were fitted by Smusiso or Derek under a tree. DIY vibes. Let's quickly take a look at what happened to the comrade you saw in the video intro. And then they upload him. Mahuara toku jutana waits. There's a spare wheel in the loading bay and as usual, the bin comes bare as standard, you have to pay extra for the lining. The interior looks old school, old school, but it is consistent with the exterior design language. I don't know whether I'm dizzy, but the steering wheel looks like it was taken from a Quantum. Smusiso and Derek strike again. This bucket features a low range gear selector which helps in getting you out of sticky situations. In the modern parkies, the low range gear selector is replaced with an electronic selector knob. The seats have a combination of leather and some cloth material. The windows are electric, but that door opening thing, icon. Overall, one can't complain about the look of this interior. In my opinion, it blends nicely with how the car looks on the outside. If you want a cute interior, go buy a Hilux. This Bucky is a part-time four-wheel drive and it is available with a V6 and a V8 engine. The 4.0 V6 starts from 659,000 rands and it has a power output of 170 kilowatts and 360 Nm of torque. It moves from 0 to 100 in 12.6 seconds and the top speed is 165 km per hour. The average fuel consumption is 14.4 liters per 100 kilometers. It chows. The V8 on the other hand has a 4.5 liter engine with a power output of 151 kilowatts and 430 newton meters of torque. It has a top speed of only 160 kilometers per hour and the average fuel consumption is 11.9 liters per 100 kilometers, which is not too bad. In terms of pricing, it starts from 800,000 rands. This pickup truck comes with a 3 year 100,000 km warranty and no service plan. You have to cough up some extra cash for the service plan. 
share your thoughts on this park here in the comment section thank you for watching and for those who haven't subscribed to the channel please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel for more car content in mzanzi context